G'day fellas, how you going there today? I've come up with another one from McLaren Vale. Great wine spot uh, in South Australia. If you get to Australia, you've got to go to the wineries. Um, this one's the, the dark, and I don't want to say this, the American lager. So I hope it's not better than the Australian ale, because that wasn't that good. I didn't think so anyway. We'll try this one. A little bit darker. A little bit. <laughs> and see through it, Jeff. Oh, well. There we go. There's the veil. Dark, they call it. Pretty interesting. Cheers, my mate. Cheers, Jeff. That tastes nice. Certainly nicer than the, than, the, yeah. than the hospital variety. Have a look at the colour of that, fellas. That's beautiful. That actually, I think I've had that once before. And I liked it. But it's not cheap. It's not that expensive. Probably half price of the American ones. That's not bad. What do you reckon? We'll whack that in at number eight. Is yours um, good yeah. enough? Is that an Australian beer, is it? Yeah, and you can buy that at Dan yeah. Murphy's. If you go to Dan yeah. Murphy's, you can buy Abbott's it. in front of that, mate. Is, Would it, you? is Abbott's going to get into the top ten? Abbott's, Abbott's, they don't make v it anymore. Uh, yes, I do. Abbott's, VB, Carlton Draft. What else are we going off on? Vic Bitter, that's got to go close. Well, that's the big seller. VB's got a bird. Crownies. A few crownies. If I had a dollar for every Vic Bitter I had, I'd be a rich man. I used to drink them when I was young. Oh, 18. I know a bloke who could drink a slab in seven hours. That's 20, expensive. 24 cans in seven hours you drink it. Oh, less than seven hours you do it. We, we used to go away for the weekend. Yeah, you'd leave Saturday morning and go away and stay overnight and come back Sunday night or something and you take a slab with you, and uh, we all drank it on the first bloody night, and we're up with the campfires about four in the morning or something, and we've gone looking for stuff, firewood, and we have went to the pub, we'd driven past the pub, and they'd just burnt down like a couple of days beforehand, and we went back to the pub, and we broke in, it was all boarded up, broke into we the broke into the pub, and we pinched all these slabs yeah not wise theft yeah not wise and they were all damaged what's the most you've ever seen a bloke drink in a pub uh, I don't know I usually drink them with them that's the problem you, you forget how many after a while if you have a lot but I remember having five pints once at um, I saw a mate one day in Wales doing a pub crawl uh, oh, that was pretty knocky about. Five pints pretty quickly. Five pints. I yeah, looked at the mate one day in a pub in St Kilda here. It was the Inkerman Hotel, as a matter of fact. The Inkerman. And he drank 63 glasses of beer from 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Glasses, though. A pot, sorry. Pot. Yeah, oh, that's a lot. Pots. Yeah, that's a lot. 63 pots. Yeah, a I, beer. I wouldn't want to be drinking with him. Imagine getting in the car after that. Well, he walked down. <laughs> he wouldn't walk, he'd be crawling. He would. Oh, there you go. Fuck. 60 through. I went to Bangkok, I think, once, actually. No, oh, no. Yeah, we had a ball. Went to, went to Bangkok, I think, once. Beautiful. So yeah. what do you think of that beer? Yeah, it's... well, it was better than the other one. Yeah, like yeah. It, 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 it tastes like Abbott's. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't know if it's number eight though. Alright, we'll leave you to that. The would be Abbott's. Cheers.